Hello sellers, in this video, I'll show you how to set up profiles in the Etsy integration app by SetCommerce. But before we start with profiling, let's have a brief about the same. Profiling is basically a collection of certain conditions that you apply in it. For example, the marketplace category, the shipping details and other attributes. The details you provided in the profile will be sent with the products when published on Etsy. To create a new profile, click on the Add New Profile button at the top right corner of the page. The complete profile is divided into two parts, Basic Mapping and Advanced Mapping. To add the products to your profile, you'll have to assign conditions. The conditions you apply here will be used to filter products from your Shopify store that match with these conditions. You can choose between two given options. The products can either match with any of the assigned conditions or it must match with all of them. Choose the appropriate product characteristics from the drop-down. Next, in the Exist in drop-down, you can choose the appropriate option and enter the text that your product detail contains. You can add more conditions in a similar manner. Click on the View Result button and you will see how many products belong to the applied rule. Now coming to the category part. To map the categories, you can type the related term in the search box and find the right category. For example, here I am typing the products with the Etsy category, shirt. You can also manually select categories if you didn't find the search category in the drop down by clicking here. Next step required attribute mapping. These attributes help Etsy to know your product better. Choose the right options from the three main attributes shown here. Coming to the variation mapping if you have products variant. Here, you can map Shopify attributes with Etsy to list them on Etsy Marketplace. Variant mapping is required to list all the variants from Shopify to Etsy successfully. In the next section, you can link photos for your variation. However, this is an optional field so you can leave it for a moment. Next is the recommended attributes section. Enabling it will allow you to add more specific attributes to your product, which in turn will increase its visibility. You can add values for recipient, occasion, style, and material here. Further moving on the other important part, which is assigning the shipping template. Templates contain predefined rules that you set for your products. You can create various templates for different groups of products. You can select from the drop-down if you have already created the template. If not, click on the Create Template button. Let's see how the template is created. Shipping templates will help you set shipping charges for your products. If you sell internationally, it will allow you to set different charges for different locations as well. You can enable the weight option if you want the template to be assigned to products falling in the specific weight range. If not, just leave it like that. Next, under the shipping info, from the shipping origin drop-down, choose the location you are shipping from. Fill in details for how many days you take to ship the order under maximum and minimum processing days. Under the standard shipping section, select a destination country. Then select charges for that location. You can offer free shipping or set a fixed charge. If you choose to set a fixed charge, you'll have to set an appropriate cost for a single item in the first column. Then, under additional items, enter the cost you want to charge and that should be lesser than the one item cost. Now, you can add another location if you want to charge differently for other locations and that too will be done in the same fashion. When you are done, assign a name to the template and save. Note that the next two templates are in the advanced mapping part. Inventory and price are not mandatory for profiles. In case you want to add specific inventory rules or price rules, you can go with these options, else you can leave it the way it is. After you are done with templates, set a name for the profile and click on the save button. And that's it. You are done creating a profile on the Etsy Marketplace integration app. Further, you can edit or delete a profile anytime you want. We hope we have covered all the important aspects of the profiling feature in this video. 
In case of any doubts, let us know by contacting us. Bye-bye. Happy selling.